Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. And today I'm going to have another little kitchen table talk about the carbon tax. Now, something happens when people immigrate to Canada. They come from a country that's nice and warm, and they land here with a little tiny carbon footprint. But as soon as you arrive in Canada, your carbon footprint becomes much larger because things in Canada are, well, more expensive. You need more energy. You need a bigger house because you'll have cabin fever if you're in a small one all winter. And you probably will need some form of transportation as well, maybe some kind of car. So that means that every person who comes to Canada increases their own carbon footprint and also increases Canada's carbon footprint. So immigration is working at cross purposes to the carbon tax. We'll never be able to reduce emissions by carbon taxing the public because every person who moves here, they bring with them, say their four ton CO2 per capita carbon footprint, and it immediately expands to about a 16 ton carbon dioxide equivalent footprint. So that's just going to multiply and multiply and multiply. And for those who leave home, let's say you came from Mexico, where the carbon tax is $4 a ton CO2 E. When you come to Canada, as of April the 1st, the carbon tax will be 20 times that. It'll be $80 a ton CO2e. So you're going to have a harder life, and we're going to have a bigger carbon footprint and a bigger carbon tax. And because it's such a cold, vast country, it's the second largest, second coldest country in the world. It's going to be very hard for Canadians to make any meaningful reduction in their carbon footprints because you want to survive, don't you? So you need heat. And your food in winter is almost all going to be imported from somewhere warm, like maybe Mexico, where there's a carbon tax of $4 a ton. So when a group of economists tell you that Canada's carbon tax makes us more competitive in a global economy, well, <laughs> they're just pulling the wool over your eyes. So that's some food for thought about immigration, carbon taxes, and carbon footprints and competitiveness in global economies. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.